Hello, this is Michael and I'm giving my talk for the Element 14 Vertical Challenge. Today I'm just going to show you around the greenhouse. If you look at the link below, you've got a picture showing what everything is and I'll work my way around now. We're going to start off with the soil. So the vertical growing soil is just here. Now if you notice, there's a bit of stuff already in it. We've got a, two units, one on this side and a slightly larger one on this side. Because I've already got plants in, I won't be able to fill it all up with the growing stuff from the challenge. So I'll be moving this one. We'll have these three as one vertical grow set up for the challenge. And then one, these three for a second one. So we've got one in full light and one in partial light because that way is south. Now the next portion is, if you need to start the seedlings, it's quite cold in England and I have problems starting my seeds early on, even though I'm in a greenhouse, so I've got a heated propagator right here. This one on top is the heated one, if you take a look there's some plants in there now. These are Rockwell starter cubes, so let's have a look at the lettuce you plant the seed in and they use the rock wool as a medium. These have got roots showing so they're ready to go in the aquaponics unit itself. Now that, as for the heating portion, it, like I said it's heated. This is the controller for it. It's 20 degrees now and if it gets to below 10 degrees the heating element will turn on. It does quite a good job, this is variable so depending what seedlings you're starting you can change the minimum set point. I've took the cover off the top of it because when the greenhouse mist does turn on, the mist comes down and keeps these damp. This is the top for it. So just below it we've got a cloning kit. I'll explain this in a little bit of a detail. So that's the lid on. I've got two lids, one for each. What this unit does is it spray, it's got a small pump spraying water onto cuttings, so you take a cutting from a plant, you just get a plant, cut a bit off, put it in these cubes, and that's it, it's ready. You notice some of the roots are starting to come out here, just here you can see them starting. I've had great success with this kit. In here you can see some grape vines, apple plants, a bit of everything just as a test. As you can see here, the groups are starting, and I usually have around 90% success with this machine, apart from with citrus plants, which it doesn't like to clone. So the the next portion is the aquaponics unit itself. I'll start at the bottom because that's where everything is. Now here we've got two systems for testing, it's pretty similar sizes, so I can do comparisons. I'll start with the NFT portion. So this is the NFT. What you get here, here is out of the fish pond down at the bottom, you pump the water up and recirculate it to the back of the pond. So the water goes into the channels, flows down the channels, and back out into the pond, meanwhile passing the, the roots of the plant. These are the roots of the plant. As you can see, the rock wool starter cubes don't hold up that well. So I wouldn't recommend using rock wool for your main growing grow bed media because it, it seems to fall to pieces. Now if you notice there's six channels, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. The bottom three channels flow into this aquaponics unit and the top three flow into the larger unit. So in here you've got your water for the fish tank, it's got a system type pump that makes sure it's, it tops up as the water evaporates. Now because we're using chemical based nutrients in this one we don't need that big of a media bed to deal with the bacteria. So we've got a small bacteria, uh, small media bed here, it's just a mixture of granite, clippings, chippings and clay pebbles. 
the next unit is this larger, slightly larger unit here, which is comprised of NFT flowing into a granite media bed with a pebble media bed above a large fish, uh, 400 litre fish tank. So what happens here is you pump water from the fish tank into the grow bed and you've got a little siphon in here that makes the water go up and down. You can see the plants are doing pretty well in it. At the moment I'm not I've not got fish in this, I'm gonna I'm gonna test on urum urine to see if there's any salt build up in the water which will affect the plants. And so far so good. You take a look at these tomato plants which are growing in the soil. There's no real signs of deficiency here, not major signs of deficiency anyway. We've got some peas growing in, which are producing peas. A sunflower which I think has got too warm. So the fish tank itself, what, what's it comprised of? A tub with water in. Another cistern pump here to keep the water topped up. We've got filters just here that you can see to filter the water before it goes to the pump so they don't block. And this is the main filter for the tank. What this does, it uses an air lift pump that you can see just operating here. No moving parts, so it's pretty simple. It moves water up into this settling tank and the water, because it moves slowly, the heavy particles which is the waste that we want to get rid of drops in the bottom then at the end of the week I take this out and bang it into one of my grow beds because it's very nutritious it works quite well I'm surprised how well it does work um, now for the actual electronics portion of the greenhouse the greenhouse is controlled um, it controls the temperature, the humidity, the waters, the soil, keeps an eye on the water temperature in the fish tank. And all that is done in this box just here. Now I've took the cover off, it's usually got a waterproof cover on. You've got your mains coming in here, and that is converted to 12 volts DC by this portion. I'll just turn it off to quieten things down. And then the computer doing the heavy lifting is the Arduino you can see just here. What this does is it controls everything that I can control in here at the moment. This is usually got an Ethernet shield on and linked to this Wi-Fi router here. So it's connected to the internet so if there's a problem it will email me. Because at the moment I come into this greenhouse once a week to pick the veg, plant the seedlings and check the system. So I'll just give you a quick uh, rundown of what I do once a week. When I first come, it, uh, first come into the greenhouse, I take the seedlings out and place them in the aquaponics unit. Plant some new seedlings in here, I'll be doing a tutorial on, on that later. Manually check if the soil's underwatered because there might be a problem. Check that the water is still flowing into the NFTs. All the, check the all the water is still flowing. I take the filters off in the fish tank and clean them, and then I will run down here and I will press this button. Now, what this button does is it tests all the systems in the greenhouse are working. When you press this, the soil watering will come on, the misters will come on and the automatic fish feed will come on. I'll be going into more detail about this. What this does is it, it feeds the fish so I don't have to. It, it can, it's also got a bit of logic behind it. It measures the water temperature and feeds accordingly. So I've disconnected the misters now so I don't get wet because it's really annoying. So let's press the button and see that it, everything works. When I press this button, the fish feeder should come on. The lights above me should come on and the water soil should come on, uh, drip irrigation nozzles should come on, so let's press the button. The auger operates, fish food would drop out of here, 
Um, the soil watering nozzles are operating. If you take a look, and if you look above me, the lights above me have come on. Now I'll just reconnect the misters. For the test. Right, I've reconnected the misters, so when I press the button now the misters should come on. This controls the humidity. So what, what happens is the Arduino will take a reading from this humidity sensor. It will check the PIR sensor to see if I'm in here and if I'm not in here and it, the humidity is too low and it's the daytime it will turn it on. The other sensors here are a smoke detector in case there's a fire, a light sensor to tell me if it's dark or light and a camera for checking the system when I'm not at home. So when I press the button the mister should come on. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but the misters are on there and it'll come on for around four seconds and turn off. This does quite a good job of controlling the humidity in here. Quite a good job indeed. Uh, let's take a look at what's around the control box. There's a carbon filter here and the this is coming from the mains water. It's a water meter so I know how much water I'm using. Plug it through a carbon filter and then it comes up to these solenoids this one is for the soil water and this one is for the the misters and this is the main air pump which runs the air lifts uh, and other uh, things that need air around the greenhouse so what another control thing the computer will read every morning it will read the soil Morris to use in one of these cheap meters, decide how long to water the soil for. There's a temperature sensor because they're cheap and I decided to add one anyway. Another thing that it does, the system does, is it keeps an eye on the temperature in the greenhouse. It'll email me if it gets too hot. There's a sensor in the grow bed medium. There's a sensor in the, the same cheap waterproof sensor in the fish tank. This is used to work out the amount of food I should give the fish every day. Uh, there's a few other bits and pieces around the greenhouse which are just outside. Because I spend a lot of time outside I connected the greenhouse to the wireless network for the house which is just over there. So this is an external antenna that I'm I made myself inside, there's just a dipole and the wire leading back to the, to the in the house. So this connects to the house, the Arduino connects to this and this gives me Wi-Fi outside because that's where I spend most of my time. Now the other part of the greenhouse is, off, when it rains, the greenhouse has got drains. So we collect the water off it and put it into this tub here. Now what, what do I use this tub for? This tub is to feed the horses on the farm water. This stops the, this other air lift pump will give movement to the water and stop it freezing in winter. Um, another thing that I use this for is when I get fish for the aquaponics unit from other places, sometimes the fish can have disease or have bacteria from the last pond so whenever I get new fish I introduce them to this pond first to decontaminate them and visually inspect them to check the I'm not introducing any harm into the greenhouse it works quite well I've never needed to top it up um, I'll show you the outside bit of the garden now why I'm here it's not really to do with a vertical challenge but it's automating of growing systems so some of you might find it interesting just here I've got some grow beds, this one's full of weeds because I've not done anything with it this year. And this is the main garden that I'm doing now. It's comprised of the small beds here, you see a grow bed that's got strawberries in it, some chives, some dill. 
uh, this is, is a second priority to the greenhouse so it's not really the best of things at the moment the beds are decent sized uh, just here we've got onions and now we've got broccoli and beans running up the back this system will be automated as well it'll be connected to a Raspberry Pi which will pull the weather data for this particular location and if the soil is very dry and it's not going to rain in the next day it will water it by the means of an irrigation, irrigation jet which will cover the old garden I'll do this in the middle of the morning so no one's there Anyway, that, that's the tour. I showed you the basics of all the systems. I'll be going into more detail in my future video blogs on each system. The next blog will be how to make an automated fish feeder, like the one I've got there. And then the blog after that will be the filter for the aquaponics unit and just some general control features.